Hey, hello, and how you guys doing out there? And gals, of course, you know, I want to be, you know, politically correct out there. Today, we're going to bring you something that you guys have been requesting. I've seen a lot in the comments asking, where are the Z68 reviews? I'm going to level with you guys. We got so in-depth in doing the testing with this new smart response technology that we actually almost missed launch date entirely. Just trying to test in all these different RAID configurations end up being kind of a slight waste of time because the technology wasn't actually geared to do that. But you guys will be impressed with the test on that. But today, we're going to bring you our first unboxing. This is from Gigabyte. Now, this is the new GA-Z68X-UD7B3 revision. Now, I don't really know why there's any B3 in any of these boxes since that had to actually do with the P67. I guess they're still trying to like tell everybody that, hey, it's cool, we fixed the problem. You can just ignore the B3. This basically is one of the newer Z68 motherboards and it has a lot of kick-ass features, or good features anyways. So anyways, let's do the unboxing and uh, let's open the thing up and take a look. So. Nice, well packaged. Actually, I'll let you guys see the front of the box. I know you guys like to see the back of the box too. In the back of the box, I'm gonna leave it here. There's a lot of features on here. They're 24 pays power. They're 333 support for their motherboard stuff. At bio, it's just all kinds of features that Gigabyte throws onto their motherboard. So that's all that. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop out the interior box. And uh, right through the box, we can see this is actually really nice. The Ultra Durable series as well, which means it's going to feature a lot of their great components. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and pop the top off now. I'll pull the top plastic cover off. And sometimes this motherboard box is completely out, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to remove the motherboard all the way out. I'll show you guys the content first. I know a lot of people like to see that. So I'll move around here and we'll take a look at the content. There's going to be quite a bit here, so let me pull this out of here. Now, Z68 chipset is basically a combination of P67 and H67 technology. It allows onboard graphics, better overclocking, and all that type of stuff. It features a lot of cool stuff, including Intel Smart Response technology, which is using a regular hard drive in conjunction with an SSD. So, we're going to start off. We have a breakaway box for some additional features on the back. I'm not going to rip all these open today. Inside of here, we have some more standard power to SATA. You might need to use those. Then we have a couple SATA cables. Then additionally, we have another SATA cable, another SATA cable. We have the SLI bridge for two-way SLI. We have a breakout box with two USB 3.0 devices. This is going to hook onto your motherboard on a little breakoff panel in there. Pretty cool, front USB. Then we have the three-way SLI switch. Go ahead and pull it out for you guys to see it, if you guys know the difference. Three-way is actually a bridge, not a cable. So now you can see this is the three-way SLI bridge. Connections on this side. Go ahead and pop this back into its little container here. Has that great new computer smell, almost like new car smell, but it's not, you know, it's not as pretty. Pass that. Then we have the rear I.O. Let me get this out of here for you guys. Woo. Then we have the rear I.O. It's all color coordinated, marks everything. You can just see from this rear I.O. how much stuff is on here. Look, two, four, six, eight. A lot of USB ports and stuff on the back of this motherboard. Then we've got the 1155 CPU guide. This motherboard Z68 features all of the second core CPUs from Intel. The i-Series 7, i5, and i3 as well all go on here. Then we have the user's manual. And then the driver CD. Go ahead and set that out. And then last but not least inside the box, we have the multi-installation guidebook. So that means if you speak Spanish, Chinese, or any other language, you'll have some kind of instructions in here. I'm sure there's more in the CD and multi-language you can download as well. And then we have two stickers. Pull them out of here. It's the Dolby HD sticker for the 7.1 audio provided by the ALC889 chipset. And then we have the little gigabyte little motherboard sticker. So this was all the content. I'm gonna just kind of just slap back in here really quick so I can bring the motherboard out here for you guys. But actually this board contains so far as you guys can see a lot of outboard equipment. Lots of good stuff there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring the motherboard into sight. Go ahead and I will remove it from its container. Motherboard very well tricked out. So starting at the top of the board, we can see it's the Ultra Durable Series. It has a nice big cooling solution that goes over all of the different chipsets. This has heat pipes inside of it, helps dissipate it all the way away. Really nice stuff. 
Now, this motherboard has low ferrite chokes, Japanese capacitors, and it also has their driver MOSFET, plus two extra layers of copper inside the board to make it better. They call this their 20 plus four phase power. On your ZIF socket, use the 1155. As I said before, this is the second generation i7, i5, and i3 CPUs. There's actually plenty of room around here too for aftermarket CPUs. Gonna bounce over the memory. Features DDR3 dual channel up to 1867 megahertz. Uh, it's pretty good. All you have to do is install memory. It has actually auto detection for some of the new memory that Kingston has out. You just install it in the memory on here and it automatically detects it. I know a lot of you guys make comments that memory doesn't always auto detect, but it doesn't always auto detect. Sometimes in the BIOS, it just detects at a lower speed. You'll see it on your screen, it'll say 1333. With this memory, if you put the new memory in, it actually detects it at the higher clock speed. 32 gigabytes total that you can stick in there too. Pretty good. Got the 24 power pin connector here. Then we have the other eight pin power here, up here. This helps keeps the CPU running good. You can see on this board as well, there's actually a couple different on and off switches. For people that are building a test station, you have a little test station here, you just click on and off on a board. Gonna spin it around. We have one, two, three, four of the 16X PCI slots. We have two standard PCI slots and then a standard 1X PCI slot up here. Know that these new cards, the new 1X PCI cards, don't have to be used in this slot alone. You can actually use them in any of these slots other than these two, just to take that into note. So I want you guys to take a look at actually the quality of the board. Though Everywhere on the board, everything is made very low and against the board. That means really high quality stuff. And it's really heavy to be made of two times the copper of a normal board. The price of copper has gone up quite a bit. So we're gonna move the board around again. We have a little clock here on the side of the board. This gives little memory issues and not memory issues. It gives you a little clock here. And these little numbers that are on here tells you whether your board is running correctly or not. Then we're gonna come over here. We have two of the SATA three ports right here, and then two of the standard old school SATA two ports right here. So all together, you have eight SATA ports on here. Also with the Marvel controller, you're gonna get some combination ports in the back. So you'll have uh, some of these uh, SATA three ports here, and on the, actually in the rear IO, there's a combination port, which I'll get to next, which is both. So now I'm gonna flip the, the board around. Now this rear IO is really, really extremely decked out. USB 3.0, two right here. Legacy keyboard and mouse. SPDIF and coaxial. Now we're gonna get crazy over here. These ports over here are for your IEEE. These right here are your eSATA powered. And then down below, these are both USB 3.0 and SATA 3 ports in a combination port. I have not yet seen that on a motherboard. And that's actually some really cool shiznick stuff. I like that. Then we're gonna blaze on down here. We have two right here of the LAN ports. These are supported by the Realtek chipset as well. And then we have an additional four more of the USB 3.0 ports here. Audio is provided by the ALC889 chipset and you get all, not only 7.1 analog, but also digital as we talked about as well, audio. So this is the whole motherboard. This is the unboxing of the new GA-Z68-UD7B3 by our friends over at Gigabyte. Stay tuned for the full review very soon and thanks for watching the motherboards.org YouTube channel.